Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Top 5 Niches of the Week. This is episode 100. We made it to 100 episodes and if I recall, I don't think we've missed a single weekend episode of Top 5 Niches. I still remember where I was when I came up with the concept. I was driving home with Marielle from uh, Maryland and we were just in the car and it just popped up into my head and I said, you know what, I'm going to record this video today and that was all the way back, you know, basically two years ago episode one was released that day so I'm excited to be bringing you a hundred episodes and a hundred more in the future also I'm excited to be wearing an invisible Bitcoin hoodie check this thing out uh, I guess the green screen technology that I use when I record these videos because um, I got a green screen behind me I guess the the sweatshirt color is a little bit too close to the green that it shows as translucent so I'm wearing an invisible hoodie but I have to say shout out to uh, Vexels for this design for the all over print. Uh, I wore this yesterday to a um, the, the Bitcoin conference in Miami. The last day was yesterday. There was a music festival and uh, I wore it, you know, late because we went a little bit later in the day. We went to a pool party during the day. Man, it's Miami. You know what I mean? What, what's not to love about Miami? Miami is a great time. I'm a little tired and dare I say slightly hungover. Uh, so, you know, that's why my voice may be a little bit hoarse, but it was a great time. And, uh, you know, I got I got some compliments on the the invisible Bitcoin hoodie there. So shout out to Vexels for, for that design. But anyways, why don't we get started with the top five niches? All right. First things first, we have to announce the two weekly giveaway winners. And if this looks like your email, you'll be hearing from me shortly with your prizes. Congratulations. And we are launching a new free print on demand giveaway. You can find a link at the top of the description. Good luck to everybody that enters. Also in the description, I've got a free eight day print on demand mini course delivered via email if you want to take advantage of that. And I've got a great print on demand Facebook community. I'd love to have you there. You can find a link down there as well. All right, let's get to these top five niches. Actually, real quick, before we get to them, let me just remind you that uh, the Bitcoin conference was streamed on YouTube and I will drop links in the description. You can actually just watch the main stage so you can't watch all of them, but I'll put it in the description in case you guys want to check out what, uh, you know, what it was all about because it's really good stuff. It's about financial literacy more than anything, um, not just Bitcoin. All right, niche number one. And instead of showing you niche number one right away, I wanted to just show you the top 12 designs and show you their BSRs because there are times in the year where if you look at like the top 10 and you look at the average BSR of the top 10, and this is with the, the big brands filtered out, we'll have a really low you know BSR. Like there are times where the average BSR of the top 10 shirts filtering out the protected brands is probably under, maybe not under 5,000, but let's just say right around 5,000. You know, and that, that's not that even that rare. But right now, the number one bestseller has a BSR of 5,400. You see what I'm saying? So I just want everybody to kind of be aware that like everything in life, basically, you know, things ebb and flow, like t-shirt sales on Amazon, they ebb and they flow. Like there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. And right now I don't think this is necessarily like the best time of year for t-shirt sales, just judging off BSR. What's cool is with BSR, the data point, we don't really have to guess. We can kind of see it in front of us if we, if we look. So I wanted to just show you really quickly that average BSRs right now are not that low, meaning sales aren't that high relative to where we've been in the past. So niche number one, just go scanning through the uh, best sellers. If you are like Amazon merch tier 10, tier 25, tier 100, you're looking to scale up your account. You're deferring profitability. Most likely you're chasing the trends where the most sales are taking place. You're going to want to be in the, you know, April, autism so here's what I actually did by the way to get these results behind me I didn't search for autism I searched for April as in like the month April okay and when you do that you get you know the whole row of bestsellers right there all about autism awareness okay so sometimes you can kind of take a different approach with your niche research I'm not saying there's a right or wrong way but I wanted to show you that rather than me even seeding the search with autism I just typed in April the month name and this is what I got okay so pretty indicative of like, you know, a nice big trend in the month of April, wouldn't you say, if the whole first row of results is uh, all in the same niche. So here we go in like Pretty Merch Pro, my uh, niche research tool of choice, by the way, you can always click analyze and you can see an in-depth breakdown of relevant data points. And the one that I usually look at, you know, most, most often is the date uploaded. I want to see shirts that were uploaded recently, or I want to know if like, you know, are, are these shirts be being given favorable placement in search results if they're older shirts. It certainly seems like the Amazon algorithm is liking the idea of putting 
newer submissions in front of customers as well because I don't think they want their catalog to feel stale, which is why, honestly, advertising some of your older listings is also um, definitely not a bad thing. Niche number two. And here we go. Guess what I did here? I typed in May. Okay, so I went to the search bar. I thought I had screenshots of it. Um, maybe I don't. But I typed in May, as in the month of May. And these were the results I got. So if earlier we typed in the month name, April, and we it ends up taking us to the number one trend in the month of April, well, I said, you know what? May is not that far away. It's April 10th right now. Why don't we type in May and see what comes up as sub-niches of the month of May? And what do you know? You get a bunch of... Well, a lot of just like Mexican themed, taco themed, um, you know, behind me, let's ta let's taco bout books. Um, I almost don't even have to duck out the way because the sweatshirt's see through. So you can pretty much see the uh, the screen behind me. But uh, it looks like there's going to be a lot of Fiesta. Um, we already know Cinco de Mayo There's going to be some some cerveza. <laughs> but don't check the youth checkbox if you do anything related to, you know, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, but this this is definitely a prevailing theme in May. If you trust the search results that I got right here. All right, niche number three, and this is Ukraine. The Ukrainian shirts uh, are definitely still selling quite well. By the way, funny thing, being at the Miami Beach Convention Center with like 25 to 30,000 people, you actually see a lot of the best-selling T-shirts from uh, from merch by Amazon. Like, you know, I, I'm probably the only person there that sees these shirts and is like laughing, and I'm like, you know, I was there with uh, my girlfriend, Marielle, and I'm like, you know, hit, I'm elbowing her like, oh, look, it's another merch shirt. It's another merch shirt, you know, and she was she was pointing them out to me as well. So I guess if you're around enough people, you you're going to see them, right? Like that shirt all the way on the left side there, the number one bestseller definitely saw that a few times. All right. And um, yeah, so it was just kind of funny, you know, I, the mind of a T-shirt seller. We're just walking around trying to pay attention to, you know, the Bitcoin stuff. And then I'm like, oh, but that shirt, that shirt, that shirt. And um, like I alluded to earlier, I was taking pictures of people that let me and uh, telling them like, hey, you want to be featured in a YouTube video? We're going to review the best Bitcoin shirts. So look forward to that dropping probably this week. All right. Niche number four. And this is Easter. OK, we know Easter's coming up very soon. So it's you know, there's definitely not a lot of time to get the Easter designs up, although for what it's worth, like Easter there's going to be shirts that are purchased after Easter as well. Okay, so it's it's one of these holidays where you can probably make sales year round. Also, you know, depending on how you theme your shirt, like, like a picture of a bunny rabbit, like that can that can sell year round, no worries. Even the eggs cavator, right? That's probably for, you know, I know that younger kids love the construction stuff, right? From what I hear. I don't have any kids of my own, but uh, I know the construction stuff sells really well, so you know, maybe putting a construction theme on things we know that the t-rexes sell really well um one thing to note anything with peeps in it i would stay away from so peeping it real uh, i would not be selling anything related to that personally that's just my recommendation also i went into easter because we see easter's trending right and you're like oh great ryan thanks for telling me to sell easter shirts right easier said than done how many people are going to upload an easter shirt and not make a sale a lot of people but why don't you take a little bit of the guesswork out maybe type in easter 2022 and evaluate those results all right now this doesn't guarantee that the shirts were uploaded in 2022 but like 99 plus percent of them were right because are you selling shirts that are themed for 2023 right now you could but generally speaking most people aren't and then those shirts probably aren't making sales so they won't even really be indexed all right the reason i'm sharing this is if you type in like easter 2022 what you can then do is use the pretty merch pro plus analyze and look at the dates they were uploaded and if you see hey they were uploaded in the last month or two months and they've got decent bsrs well maybe you can learn something about how they were able to you know achieve that level of success relatively quickly also another quick note the first shirt up there in the top left too similar for my liking to the um friends tv show logo so i would not recommend um you know always got to do your research i know it's easier said than done but i mean a lot of shirts get removed every single year trying to rip off the friends tv show logo so i would not do that also how funny is this one behind me <laughs> egg hunt champion i don't know that's kind of yeah i won't say anything else but the, <laughs> people are crazy the, whoever designed that shirt i would never have thought of that all right, and so here we go looking at, you know, one of the newer uploaded shirts from just a month ago on March 8th. Uh, you can see here the shirt says Happy Easter. It's a bunny rabbit outline with that leopard print uh, kind of pattern that sells really well. I don't necessarily understand why it sells as well as it does, but 
it's not uncommon to see some of these like pattern overlays uh, being used in, in some of the more popular designs. Also, shout out to that design for using a white t-shirt. That's a nice way of standing out. I think Merch Informer sent an email out the other day where they recommended that, and it's actually like a great piece of advice. If everybody's checking the black shirts, you know that their primary thumbnail in search results is going to be black, and so what are you going to get? You do a keyword search, you get a sea of options, all black t-shirts though. What if you're the one shirt that's like pink, or the one shirt that's blue, or the one shirt that's white? You know what I mean? Like Sometimes you can think outside the box a little bit, and this can influence the customer psychology when they're scrolling through 40 something shirts and they're all black except for yours. And all of a sudden yours stands out. Niche number five. All right, niche number five guys, this is a little bit forward thinking, but we are uh, basically one month away from Mother's Day. All right, and I mean, I think within a month out, like if you're looking at some of the best sellers for Easter, right? We don't have to guess when they're uploaded. We can see that data point. A lot of them get up there a month early. Some of them get up there earlier than that, right? But I think a month is a pretty safe bet, you know, especially if your upload slots are limited. If you are uploading more than a month out, that may not be the best use of an upload slot, especially in tier 10. If you're in tier 10, I think you just want to chase the biggest trend this week because you can easily delete something and re-upload something new. If it's a new trend the following week, just do that. Anyways, Mother's Day is coming. One thing I noticed is there's quite a few, I didn't necessarily screenshot everything, but there's a lot of like cross-niching, um, it seemed like baseball, softball, and in general sports, like I know I saw some other, um, like volleyball, and so cross-niching sports with mom. Uh, I noticed that was very popular as well. Um, you don't need to just make like a boring, like Mother's Day 2022 shirt. Like there's a lot of ways to attack this niche, so I would definitely recommend getting creative. All right, seller trends, shirts that are uh, related, or shirts that have seen a significant jump in BSR recently. Got some Easter ones. We've got one that looks like a Jack Daniels bottle, but uh, I guess it's just a 20-year-old birthday shirt. What else? Promoted to grandpa. Uh, funny pinata shirt, by the way. Pinatas are going to be related to the fiestas, and we know that that's what pops up when you search for May, so, you know, maybe consider that. Uh, Ukraine, etc. All right, looking ahead, if you want to sell stuff related to seemingly random holidays, here we go. May 10th is Clean Up Your Room Day. May 11th is my mom's birthday, and it's also National Receptionist Day. May 11th is also School Nurses Day. May 12th is International Nurses Day. Guys, if you're new to print on demand, some things just sell really well. Anything related to nursing sells really well. There's going to be a lot of sales that take place. Maybe you're in to the nursing niche is School Nurses Day. You know how we say sub niche, and some sometimes we're like, well, what does sub niching mean? Like, what? A, that's an example of sub niching. Like, we I say I tell you, nursing shirts sell well. You're like, okay, what type of nursing shirts do I make? Then then I'm like, okay, school nurses day is May 11th. So you've got a time frame. You've got the sub niche of not just nursing but school nurses, uh, and then or international nurses day, right? Just make sure you can uh, you have the rights to sell that on a t-shirt. Do your validation. <laughs> I always include a link in the description. To my video called is this niche safe i do recommend you check out that video if you've never seen it because it has my best process for keeping your account safe when you upload all right finally uh may 13th is international hummus day and i do like me some hummus all right bonus shirt this is something i liked while i was oh doing my research actually no it's not it normally is but today i'm giving a shout out to detour shirts because juna did a uh, custom design for me for me to wear uh to the bitcoin festival which i did bitcoin uh, conference and so he actually did a video on his channel where he went through the whole process I sent him some graphic elements that I liked um, not related to Bitcoin just for t-shirt design elements and you know he's a great graphic designer so he shows the whole process he did for making my shirt and uh, we wrapped the video up with me reporting into <laughs> to, to him basically saying hey I'm, I'm here at the conference wearing the shirt everybody loves it I did get some compliments so shout out to uh, detour shirts and I'll put a link to their video as well in the description all right deleted designs from merch ninja i don't know how they track these but they do so here are some recently deleted designs there's some christmas theme shirts there's some uh location themed shirts like even just saying houston with a star i, I don't know i think it's related to like the mlb team but I i'm just guessing um so that was removed and the wonder woman logo getting pulled i mean come on that's obvious also i noticed there were a couple shirts related to green jackets and I'm sure I'm not the only person that knows that the Masters is being played today. It's day four of the Masters, the 
you know, most popular golf tournament, I think it's safe to say, uh, probably in the world. I would not upload any shirts related to Green Jacket, even if you see a couple of them that are selling pretty well right now. Okay, I would not touch that. All right, guys, and as we wrap the video up, just wanted to remind you there's a new print-on-demand giveaway. You can enter for free using the link in the description. This week, the winners are going to receive a license to Merch Titans Upload Automation. If you missed my video this past week, as a part of Automation Week, I kind of walk you through how I use Merch Titans Upload Automation uh, every single day, honestly, even right now while I record this. Uh, Merch Ninja print-on-demand research tools, all sunsets, premium pre-made graphics, and Bubble Scout, my go-to Redbubble niche research tool. So shout out to all the sponsors. Thank you for sponsoring another giveaway. And as I wrap up, did want to remind you, I have a full print-on-demand course walking you through how I make six-figure passive income. How I made, I don't even know how many sales. I might, you know, if you want, I can do a video. I can try to figure out the exact number. But like I was in Miami for the last like five and a half days. You know what I mean? But my businesses are still making me money on autopilot. These orders that come through are getting fulfilled and tracking is getting uploaded while I'm out enjoying, you know, the Bitcoin conference and, uh, you know, doing other things that you do in Miami. <laughs> uh, me and Mariel had a great time, honestly. But um, yeah, so my, my business is funding me, allowing me to be there and I'm still making money without having to be at my computer. So it's pretty good stuff, guys. You can find out more using the link in the description. 100 episodes in the books. Thank you so much, especially if you've been with me since episode one. Even if you haven't, though, I still really appreciate you, your time. Let's make 2020, 2022 big. We have what, like eight months left. So let's get after it. Whatever it is that's been in the back of your mind, like, oh, I, I need to do this or I really want to do that. Let's get after it right now, guys. Like, let's take the initiative. I'm hyped. I'm excited. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and all that great stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow with a new one.